Are you all right? Yeah, don't worry about it. Doesn't look like there's any. Peter Griffin, certified CPR. Don't anyone panic. Ah! No! What the hell are you doing? I said, Sir, ah! I'm gonna need you to stop. No! Hello? All right? My no! You guys sent me a Family Guy Try Not to Laugh challenge in the DMs of the Discord, to which case you assured me it's the most jacked up one that you guys have sent me yet. I'll be the judge of that, but three laughs or you out of here. Broken up with, and I keep all the dogs. Not like with peanut butter and stuff, you know? Because today is Christmas Eve. Christmas! Fine, everybody have a nice holiday. Teach. It's like in high school. Signed all of us up they to volunteer tomorrow at a homeless shelter. That's your present. Last year yeah. you wrote us a freaking poem, and now this? Now let's finish decorating before your father gets home. I gotta go help the less fortunate? He's coming fast. He can't wait to see us. Get out of the road, you idiots. He's headed right to the bar. Twas the night before Christmas. Wait, wait, twas? What's twas? Is that short for it was? What's that? We're out of time. Oh. I'm fired. Well, I suppose I better get out of here before that over-enthusiastic group of carolers makes their way in here. Uh -oh. Have you heard the story that they're telling about that it was his virgin mother, Peter Meyer? Oh! We got Quagmire! Sing oh! hallelujah! Sing hallelujah! I looked into it, and now I'm blind. Honey, the house looks great. Who's there? Well, before you sit down, ah! I just need you to do a couple things. Okay. Ah! First, I need you to Who's take down last year's Christmas lights and put up ah! this year's Christmas ah! lights. Then shovel and salt the walk. Then shovel and salt the driveway. Then shovel and salt Mrs. Whitaker's driveway. She's 96 and has no one to help her. <laughs> then it's just laundry, take up the trash, and move the house a little bit to the left. Oh. Uh, can I do some of that tomorrow? Bums? What kind of presents would they possibly have for us? Bags full of bags full of bags? You know what, Peter? I've had it. Every year, my parents invite us to their house, and every year we don't go because you don't want this year. I am going, and the kids are coming with me. Aw, now I want to be on that side. Now to take a slidey toilet seat soaking wet dump. Christmas in Wonderland. Aha! Ah, I love you, Patrick Swayze. I don't. Peter Griffin. Santa? Is that you a think vagina? Santa could fit into a pair of 22-inch waist jeans? Ghost of Patrick Swayze. Zesty, I can't believe it. Bro. I just want to run through your hair like a dog uh, bouncing in tall grass. Hey, where are we? Zesty, Peter, you've lost your Christmas spirit. So I'm taking you on a journey to Christmas Pass to find it. Christmas spirit? Hey, hey that's me. Look how skinny I am. Yay, it's Christmas. See, look how happy I was. That's the Christmas spirit. I haven't felt that in years. And I just want you to see that not everyone in Quahog has lost the Christmas spirit. Christmas! What's this? Cold! Why? Bad! Oh! That was a delicious meal, Daddy. You all laughed when I suggested Boston Market. Where is Jos? Nana, here is Kata. Fröhliche Weihnachten. Fröhliche Weihnachten. Seems like they're having a good time without you. Oh, they're just oh. pretending to have fun. I'm sure they miss me. We should probably call Dirt. You mean Dad? Wow. <laughs> Merry Christmas, huh? <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas, huh? Yeah, she's gonna bow, man. <laughs> yeah, duh. She's doing that flirty laugh she does. Now let's see that penis. Yeah, what, yeah, you thought your wife was faithful just because you, she's just when you in the room, oh, This stupid. isn't a Merry Christmas at all. Oh, what? Oh, what? hell no. What's happening? I'm the ghost of Christmas yet to come. I'm shaping your future. That's terrible. I can't believe our buddy's dead. I know. Well, shape my and it's future. so sad. He I left his family you. with nothing. I, I swear I cut Benjamin you. that just died? Nobody ever said Benjamin. Poor I'll cut dead you. Benjamin. I'll All cut right, you're not getting it. Merry Christmas. Who's that guy? That's Lois's new husband, That's Lance. a side dude. I, I mean, finally husband. had the guts to leave her. Hey, what's Brian doing out here in the graveyard? Usually sleeps at the foot of my bed. He still does. Oh. Why didn't someone in my family save me? They went to Newport because you wanted to be by yourself, remember? It looks like you got what you wanted. You spend all of eternity as a dog fart. Where'd he go? Don't worry, Brian's a 13-year-old dog. Please, Peter, don't lose your Christmas spirit. He ate Lois's trash. There's tampons in there. <laughs> Please, Peter, keep your Christmas spirit. Please, Peter, this is no life. Where am I? What day is it? 
All the porn girls I follow on Instagram have Santa hats on. It must be Christmas. Every time Grandpa bends over to get a present, his robe opens up. Good. Looks like two eggs and an old handkerchief. All loaded up with Christmas spirit and a sack full of hastily bought gifts from the CVS. For Stewie, a two-dollar styrofoam cooler. Awesome! I can probably fit 16... Oh, the top blew away. A lawn chair that was 80% off because it's winter. Oh, Peter, I can't wait to drink outside in this. Are you sure this is for me? Of course, Meg, sweetie. It's Christmas. Everything is for you. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Who are you talking to? Well, actually, there's one thing in heaven that Chris Farley won't do with me. What's he doing? I don't know, Chris. Let's just keep opening presents. He'll tire himself out. <laughs> oh, hell Peter, no! Thanks a lot for having us out on your boat. No problem. Peter, are you sure Santos and Pasquale don't mind coming in on a Saturday to serve us drinks? Hey, Meg, what's going on? What's going on? You having a good time? Yeah. No, I'm having a good time. Uh, you know, if you ever want to, I don't know, screw around or something. Uh, hey, Joe. Oh, sorry about that, Loretta. Hey, uh, can I have my fish back? Oh, you're gonna have to reach into the cookie jar. Hey, Quagmire. Well, we'll, uh, <laughs> have to do this again sometime. You name the time and the place, little Nick. Oh, 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 oh! Somebody save him! He can't swim! Oh, he's not even kicking. Kick, Joe! Kick! Oh, gay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's gay! <laughs> Let him, just Peter, let him none of die. us knew what to do when Joe was drowning. Now be quiet and pay attention. Hi there. We were doing like what we were supposed to be doing. CPR. We was letting them now, die. Who in wants to go quietly. first? In no peace. takers. Well, fine. I'll go first. Hell Peter, why don't you volunteer? Oh, and that's pretty no much all face, there is bro. to it. Yeah, it's hard, jagged, and tastes like alcohol. If one of y'all needs mouth to mouth in front of me, you really probably just gonna die. Like, I'll video record. Hey, world star! This nigga choking. Hey, everybody, look, he's choking. What a dummy world star! Like I, I could do all of that, but putting my lips on another man's lips—that's that's that goes against my religion. And I haven't been to church in years, so you know how that is. Just like kissing Faye Dunaway. <laughs> <laughs> so it's official. Y'all are card-carrying lifesavers. I am now Peter Griffin's certified CPR. I've got lives to save. Are you all right? Yeah, don't worry about it. Doesn't look like there's any. Peter Griffin, certified CPR. Don't anyone panic. Ah! What no! the hell are you doing? I Sir, I'm going to stop. No! 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 So they what are we doing? your CPR card, huh? Yeah. I tell you, this is worse than when they took away my library card for reading while intoxicated. I gotta figure out some way to get that card back. Well, well, you could always take the class again. I mean, I'm sure they'd give you another card. Oh! Peter Griffin, temporarily suspended CPR. We should go. She Boy, that was embarrassing, huh? What was that? Shut up and put some more of that sugar in my bowl. Oh, we can't tell anyone about this. That is the last thing in the world we want to do. So I, I guess the only thing on left that. to do is tell you that Loretta Twice. Brown is having an affair. Yeah, uh, <laughs> any idea who it was, Peter? No, we didn't see his face. Oh, no. All we know is it's a skinny white guy with a tattoo on his left butt cheek. Uh, your wife's cheating on you. What? Yeah, uh, it, it's Duh. actually a pretty funny story. Uh, true story. Uh, Brian and I walked into your house. So that's what we're dealing with here. Any thoughts? Cleveland's gonna be staying with us for a few days. That's no. right, kids. So just treat him like one of the family. <laughs> can I, can I touch your hair? I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna touch no. it. No. No, <laughs> it's like a sheep. He's probably bottling up his emotions. That's not good for you. Right. What Cleveland really needs right now is to learn how to express his feelings. No. Yeah, what he needs right now is a revenge lay. That's the, oh, yes. Oh, sorry, guys. Let me throw something on. <gasps> Peter, look, he's the one we saw sleeping with Loretta. Damn it, I knew this was gonna happen. Look, I didn't mean it, you know? I, I knew it was a mistake. It never felt right. I am so sorry. I can only imagine what you must be feeling right now. It's okay. It's okay? You don't have any passion. Sometimes a woman wants to see her man be a man. You gotta push back a little. You gotta get a little rough. Cleveland, we gotta get your manhood back. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is take you to a good old-fashioned wrestling match. 
Oh, don't you make you so mad you just want to go down there and hit him? No. Well, maybe not him, because he's kind of big, but don't you want to hit the guy sitting next to you? Hey, look at me. I'm Quagmire. I had sex with your wife. Giggity, 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 giggity. <laughs> hey, knock, much hey, better Peter, knock it off. Yeah, you oh, sweet oh, thing. Get your oh, damn you hands like off, dirty, son of a bitch. Easy, girl. Uh, Glenn Quagmire. <sighs> All right, all right, calm down, yeah. Cleveland. I'm gonna kill Quagmire. Well, Cleveland, relax, 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 relax. There you go. There See, you that's go. why I can't okay. stand my... How you gonna okay. rile Listen, somebody Mayor up? West, you want him to get mad. Is in trouble. Didn't you he tell him to, to calm down Say after no you more. get him super mad? I'll protect you, sir. Just it's all right him, to go to sleep, Just let him not express friend. his emotions, stupid. I'll stand stupid. guard. Uh, okay? Don't worry. I'll be here all night. Yeah, this is uh, kind of creeping me out. I'm gonna go. Take this for protection. What the hell is this for? When the time comes, you'll know. Peter, we have got to do something about Cleveland. I think you created a monster. Well, there's only one thing to do, Lois. we got to get Loretta and Cleveland back together. Yeah, Cleveland, this is Quagmire. Uh, listen, I feel awful. Why don't you come on over and we can try to get things back to the way they used to be. Anyway, let's talk this thing through. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, Cleveland, I was just leaving you a message. Oh, shit! Oh! 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 Wait! It wasn't real. I, this wasn't love. It was oh, just. This is awful. Somebody sex. stop them. Oh, I can't. It isn't in me to cause harm to anyone. Loretta, Boo. what you did was unforgivable. This marriage is over. I deserve better than you. Glenn, you sure you want to do this? I already told you I forgive you. No, no, I feel like I got off too easy. You're fired, Griffin, for destroying company property. Tell it to my tongue. <laughs> Mr. President, we have a situation. The Decepticons plan to destroy the seven wonders of the world. Starting with what? the Hagia Sophia. That chest plate is where they're most vulnerable. If we could find someone strong enough to throw a keg with enough force, we might have a shot. There may be one. I wonder who it is. Please don't Search let it be is the... underway for a man strong enough to throw a keg with enough force to save the seven wonders of the world. You're wasting your time coming here. I don't throw kegs anymore. He throws D. Who's this? It's not me that's asking. It's America. Hell, America, my answer is no. I have to go change my mind in the shower. Hold on. Damn it, I'm in. Still trying to put the world back together, I see. Oh, hello, Peter. I was just out back working in the garden. Oh, yeah? Trying to grow some balls? Peter, you used to live here. That was a long time ago. It was two months ago. Two months is a long time when you don't sleep and only eat ground beef. Nothing bad will ever happen to the Hagia Sophia, right? <laughs> Not on my watch. Pete? Save that basilica. According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's have a fight with so many quick shots and close-ups, you can't tell what's going on. Did it shit out of Oh, did it. Good did it. Peter, don't! It's suicide! Take care of my kids' bikes. I can't believe Peter's gone. Who's that ugly son of a bitch? Wait, they, they welded you back together? A and they knew you were alive the whole time? Is everything all right? Yeah, no, I, I, I think I'm just tired from all the flying back and forth. Maybe we just talk here for a little bit? You're three hours late. Stop trying to be a clock. You ain't got the face for it. I've had enough of your nonsense. <gasps> it's a cliche.
Uh, why did they shoot him? <gasps> Where am I? What happened? Oh, coma breath. Coma? Stab me with his scalpel and then run out. Thanks. Oh, that was unnecessary, but cool. So awesome. Dear idea for company, Fugo. Ah, so close. All right, homie, got the Lion King sword. Got the McDonald's everything else. Trisha Takanawa, 88. Worst neighbor ever. You won't believe what he did yesterday. Hey, Grover, catch! Don't you think maybe it's time to call it a night? Yeah, sure. You ever seen a nard explode? A, a what? Is that something on the internet? Because I... Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're a jerk, Gronk. That's it. I'm getting rid of that bastard. Peter, you gotta figure something out. They haven't stopped partying the whole night. That guy's more annoying than going to an Italian restaurant with someone who's been to Italy. They call this a trattoria? More like a restaurante to me. Hey, look, that bee is trying to get our honey. Ah! Holy crap, that thing just lifted a whole jar of honey. That's one of our steroid bees? Oh, crap. Ryan Rath! Turn on the wipers! Oh, hell no! Every kid in school had to write a list of five reasons Principal Shepard is cool. One time I saw him pee in a urinal with his hands on his hips. That's pretty boss. All right, finally, some peace and quiet so I can buckle down and get some writing done. It's all been a pack of lies. That sounded really good. Thanks, babe. <sighs> Hey, what's up? Well, I'm trying to work on a sequel to The Old Man and the Sea. Are you... are you allowed to do that? I used to daydream that by now I'd have my own place by a lake somewhere. An oasis where I could go to write, pay the bills by renting out the rooms. Does anyone know how to push down the back seat of a Highlander? I know I can make a bed in there, I just don't know how. Principal Shepard, what's wrong? Principal oh. Shepard, your wife is on the line. She says, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, God. Ah! Ah! I know, it's going to be such a darling B&B. &B. I got the boiler up, up and running, Mr. Griffin. Well, we don't have a boiler, but I can't wait to see what you've done in the cellar. Welcome, members of our school community. Let's call to order this emergency meeting of the school board regarding Principal Shepard's meltdown. Well, I'm done with my gum. I don't want it. But I'm done with it. Peter, shh. I'll take it. Therefore, the board is seeking a parent volunteer to serve as interim principal until a permanent replacement can be found. Hey, Lois, maybe I should do it. Again, any volunteers? I'll be your new principal. Wonderful. Why don't you come on up and introduce yourself? That ain't no lie. Check. I go pop, pop, fizz, fizz. Oh, how sweet it is. Check, check. <coughs> Mother Mom, why was this Listerine in the garbage? Oh, your father says he doesn't need it anymore now that he's a high school principal. He's not really doing that, is he? Too late. I've already been practicing giving students awkward and uncoordinated high fives. Two fingers inside of the palm contact. Mm -mm. I feel you, Meg. Shut up. You shut up. Oh. Hi, we're checking out. Just charge my card. Stewie, we have a problem. The only people checking in are here to have sex with prostitutes. What? Nonsense. And to show I'm a fun principal, I'm gonna do the ice bucket challenge. Three years too late, but right on time for a principal. Why else would you get a hotel room? Brian, bitches. Bitches, Brian. What? What's all this? We might as well provide the women, too. What? Stewie, we're not gonna become pimps. Okay, maybe we could try it out and see how it goes. Hey, what are you girls doing standing around? Get to work. Hey, guys, guys. When Borat was making announcements over to PA this morning, that was me. What? Shut the front door. Ah! Oh. Hey, stupid. What the hell are you doing? That's my daughter. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? Get on your knees and lick that up. What? 
Wow, Dad, that was really something. I felt like I kind of lost my cool there. Not at all. That's what you've got to do more of. Oh, really? No. All right, listen up, maggots. Fun's over. There's going to be some changes around here. Okay, we'll pick this up on Monday. Do any of you know my wife, Lois? Tell her I'm on the bats and to come get me. She'll know what it means. Hey, Dad, listen. The four of us got together last night, and we came up with a list of 11 students and two teachers that you need to do something about. Don't take any crap from anyone. Oh, I won't. I'm going to take down all these punks. All right, ladies, I'm going to put this as gently as I can, but it appears that someone's rectum fell out on the stairs. Now, whose is it? Our day has just begun, and there's a line out the door. I know. We're raking it in. This is a hell of a lot easier than when I delivered pizza in New Orleans. We're all just blocking the street. I need to be there in 30 minutes. It's a company promise. Pass the band. There's an end to band. We're all just blocking the street. Okay, so I think Lee Blanding gets detention. And for Jason O'Neill, maybe he could paint some during an assembly. Yeah. Well, I gotta admit, I was skeptical, but it sounds like things are going pretty well down there. They'll go even better after the purge. The what? You know, what exactly are you doing down at that school? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing a great job, like when I was a pro football kicker. Hey, Brian, what's a splat job? I, I don't I don't know, Stewie. I'm, I'm worried that you're seeing too much. We just realized we can keep all the money and kill you if you try to do anything about it. All right, we're just going to step outside and figure out a counter. Thank you. You want to eat mangled raisin bread across the street and watch the cops raid the place? Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, here comes the UPS guy. Yeah, we don't need those anymore. Genuinely did not know you could do that. Anything you order, if you don't sign for it, it has to go back. Most of what America is now is just boxes going back and forth. Jeff Banfield, I'd like you to please come down here, take your pants off, and sit. Me? What did I do? You know what you did, Jeff! What is going on what here? Do do? Just a little of the three R's. Reading, writing, and wrecking this guy's sack. You're fired. We've reinstated Principal Shepard. I went on a sex trip to Thailand, and I banged all the goofy right out of me. Well, I guess your mom was right all along. I had no business running a school. I thought you were awesome. And next time I want to get back at your bullies, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. As a grown man beating up teenagers in a parking lot. That's real you talk. You kids are the most important I'll thing I'll beat up some teenagers for my child. Forgot Meg. She's got everything she needs in her room. I'll fight some children. Oh, I love dodgeball. Heads up. Oh, I love bunt kick. Heads up. <laughs> yep. Let him know. Cow. Heads up. Let him know. Oh, what did now, he do? Now, who would like to pass them out? Oh, oh. Oh, Miss Clifton! Miss Clifton! Over here! Oh, oh, oh! Miss Clifton! Miss Clifton! Tonight's winning lottery numbers are 6, 21. I won! I'm free from all those snot nosed little bastards! I can't believe Miss Clifton's gone. Really Who's gonna like teach that. my class now? And the ones Brian, that ain't. Brian, why don't you teach them. Chris's class? Good morning, class. I'm your substitute teacher, Brian Griffin. Good morning, Good morning Mr. Griffin. Griffin. Oh, please, please, call me I Brian. But you can be successful too, writers like Ben Affleck Brian and Brian. Matt Damon. Huh, there, finished. Who was, uh, Goodwill the Hunting by Matt Damon. My just right now, just pitch me a line right now. Okay. And she ended up becoming a How about that? Teacher. That wasn't a line. You just farted. It sucks. Mr. Griffin gave me an F on my first assignment. What? <laughs> an F, Brian? <laughs> After all Chris has done for you? <laughs> when I was in school, you know what we used I to do when a teacher out. gave us a bad grade? <laughs> what? We'd egg his house. Come up. on, where's this bastard live? Dirty ah, stuff. Take <laughs> that. Mark Twain here, online, filling in for Brian Griffin. I understand you children read my book, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Well, I gotta catch my time steamboat back to the 1800s. The classroom and to, and hey, to sorry I'm late. Did I miss anything? Mr. Griffin, I you've been reassigned. Please report like, to remedial English. Reassigned? I was really starting to like this job. Chance, it was nice interacting with intelligent I... people. I usually hang out with an idiot. Pardon me. Is this always, first period English? Always have sex with people before they go I'm to your prison, new teacher, Mrs. Lockhart. Especially for pedophilia. What do you see yeah, here, I'm Chris? Yeah, I'm the same. Because, uh, I mean, don't get it twisted. When she gets out... Two D's and an F. I'm, I'm still going I'm, uh, to Mr. Griffin, but you can call me Brian. She hits me Mr. Back. Griffin is my Where father. Is Anybody read Huckleberry Finn? My water 
it just broke. Oh, my God. Yo, it's my turn to deliver. Can I what? have this one? My mom keeps giving mine away. Did I hear my oh. big boy say he's got a crush on some lucky girl? Well, you know, Chris, I, I knew this day would come. I so I brought baby? you a condom. Mom, Chris, honey, away. the way to win a girl is to do something romantic and unexpected. No. Sorry, I'm late, Never Mrs. listen Lockhart. to women. Chris, what are you doing? Never listen Being to women. romantic and unexpected. That's, oh, I don't think that's Mrs. Just prison. Lockhart likes me at all. Mrs. Lockhart? Now you go to prison. Your teacher? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ew, gross. You know oh, what God. else is gross? That's a good choice. Ah, broke a damn blood vessel! Throw oh. that cake out so it don't like mess all up the bitch's house. I, I, I don't know what to do. Get in there tomorrow and do the robot. Wow, you know, you're right. All uh, right, so as I'm chilling no. in Verona when my this homie busts out with Yo, Romeo, check no. out that Biatch Juliet in the window. I don't even Mrs. talk Lockhart. like this. Uh, Our son Yo, man, check out that Biatch would Joey like Juliet. to plow you. Mrs. Lockhart, we just wanted you to know so you could spare his feelings and let oh, him down gently. Down? I know exactly what to say it. to Chris. Thank you so much. Mrs. Lockhart? Chris, come down here. I need to talk to you. Well, that's what love Why will do. Why are you here? Yep. If we're going to ah! be together, I need you to ah! call my husband. Ah! Yep, do you have any idea what time it is? At least the have stairs, at least get the, the sex first. You should still be asleep. Mrs. Lockhart, Never murder a I don't think I can do this. Unless what? she's had yeah, sex look with at the you fat at least seven underwear. times. It's like a Jackson Pollock painting. Yeah, don't put that in with my things. Because that's seven huh, times. What's this? Chris likes, is going to murder Mrs. Lockhart's husband. She wants to keep you around. We got to stop that, him. Oh, can Never we stop at the supermarket? <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm late. Okay, let's just get started. you got to be freaking kidding me. That's an ampersand. It's a symbol for the word and. Nobody can be this stupid. Yo, Mr. Griffin, chillax. We're doing the best we can. There is nothing I would like to do more than chillax, Amanda. Wow, Mr. Griffin, you're the first teacher that ever told us we could do anything. Well, I I, I didn't mean sell your body for money. Ah! I do. Oh, we're too late. Okay, I gotta Always call the police. Always sell your body ah! for money. No, wait a you know minute. I, mean? I can't call the police. if you're out there dating, I have to get rid you're of this body. You're just gonna give it away for free prison. anyway. All right, yeah, I mean, wait, might as well while mommy gets the cement blocks. Might as well, well get a car. Oh, you know, yeah, just I mean, a the pizza party uh, at the office. Oh, yeah. oh. well, uh, take it easy. Yes, yes, you too, you too. You know what I hate? A guy work? in a blue suit. Oh. oh. There's one right behind me, isn't there? Hey, everybody. What's for dinner? I'm starving. His bloodlust is unquenchable. Chris, oh, you boy. murdered Mr. Lockhart. What? No, I didn't. Oh, come on, Chris. Everybody's done something they're not proud of. Chris, I saw the body. Premeditated murder is one thing, but I will not have lying in this house. It appears Ronald Lockhart has been brutally murdered by his wife Lana and a local bear. Chris, I guess we owe you an apology. You can watch TV anytime. I'm starving. Lana, this is going to be a real long trip if you don't knock off the crap. Got a birthday coming up for someone you absolutely hate? Why not tell them to go screw themselves by sending a giant fruit bouquet? Order now and make someone feel guilty about throwing it straight into the trash six hours later. I'm heading out for ladies night. There's a casserole in the refrigerator. I'll be home at 11. What is this refrigerator you keep mentioning? Are you talking about the sandwich house? I guess I'm not the only person with a useless husband. Ah, oh, it's so nice getting out of the house. If I had to change one more diaper, I was going to lose it. I'm in exactly the same boat. Hello, Cleveland. This is Michelle Obama. It is? Yes. I've received all your letters, and I do like your mustache. You're eating a pie on the toilet, aren't you, Cleveland? Who is this? Is this a jerky boy? It's your wife, you big dummy. <laughs> Hello. Hello, is this Joe Swanson? Wait, you can talk normal? What do you mean? Never mind. What? All I need is time. Oh, but you have to be able to walk. Ah, uh, nuts. <laughs> My name is Rebecca. You've never met me before and probably don't even know I exist, but you're my father. I don't know. He sounded weird. Anything interesting happen tonight? Yep, I finally peed that chunk of poo off the side of the bowl. You know the one you've been yelling at me about? Do you think it's possible he actually has an illegitimate child? I don't know, but something's going on because I'm telling you, he lied right to my face. All right, I'll see you later. What? Where are you going? Laser tag orientation. Well, that's obviously not true. Brian, I need your car. I don't know, Lois. You're not on the insurance, and I don't think... It... Oh. Oh. You tell me what's going on right now. Okay, fine. Just before we got married, 
I was a little short of cash. I'd almost forgotten about it, but then last night I get this call from a woman who says she's my daughter. Peter, that was me. I was prank calling you. Why did you come here today? Because that call last night gave me a scare. I figured if I do have a kid out there, I want to make sure they're not giving out my information. Isn't it only fair to let him or her meet you? Eh, maybe you're right. Hi, is, uh, is Peter Griffin here? We were all pretty excited to meet you. What do you mean, we? Peter, how many times were you a sperm donor? Well, only once, but I had just seen Uma Thurman in Beautiful Girls, so it was kind of a kablamo. It, can you all stay for dinner? Aw, oh, we'd love that. Wouldn't we, guys? Yeah, absolutely. You said it, babe. Yeah, Chinese Peter, very hungry. <laughs> I've never felt proud of any of my children until now. He's wow. not crying because he's You look he's exactly sad. like me. I'm your smell. secret clone. We have been orphan blacked. Ooh. Meg, where are you? Shit. I'm right here, Mom. Oh, Lois, my God. Lois, can I keep the little person, Peter? No, they're too much work. But I'll take care of it, I promise. You always say that. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. You almost dipped one of your yabos in the marinara. I gotta tell you, it's so strange. You look so much like Peter when I first met him. Well, I'm guessing you look exactly the same, too. Oh, hi, Larry. Hi, Lois. Is Peter here? Larry, it's only two in the afternoon. Peter's still sleeping off last night's party. Anyway, we didn't really get a chance to finish our conversation yesterday, and I thought maybe we could grab some lunch together. Huh. That would give me a reason to get dressed today. Yeah. I got ice cream all over my fingers. Do you have a napkin? No, but... Let me help you clean it off. Oh, that's disgusting. I have to get back to my high school. Oh. Where I work. Oh. As a janitor. Oh. Hey, Lois, where's your purse? Me and some of my kids are going to the movies. By the way, Dwarf Peter died. I didn't know what he ate, so I gave him nothing. Why would I know where Larry is it? Who is Larry? Well, never mind. All right, everybody bring your phone so we can text each other during the movie. He kissed me, and I, I kind of let him. I told him it could never happen again, and that... <clears throat> what are you doing? I told Larry that was it, and we couldn't be anything more than friends. So you're still going to see him? Yes, yeah. of course. He's, He's a nice him. young man. Is everything yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just hurt my neck this morning, vigorously nodding approval to Judge Judy. Lois, is a president stronger than a king? What the hell? Oh, Peter... L look, calm down. We're just friends. I might as well just tell you, Peter. I'm in love with Lois. I knew it the moment we kissed. Kissed? Is that true? Damn. Ah! Ooh. Yeah. Look at your ass. Look at your younger self. No. Whoa. What the hell? Lois? But if he's not your boyfriend... Why'd you kiss him? He kissed me. And I should have told you. Female nature, I'm sorry bro. if I hurt you, Peter. <sighs> Maybe I have been taking you for granted. Make her... But I promise Better I'll make, make it, up, make to it you. up to you. I'll be the best husband ever. You already are. Someone who wants to watch TV with me on a Saturday night and isn't afraid to pop a zit on my back. Afraid? I love doing that. From now on, I'm making sure my sperm stays right where it belongs. Oh. In the bathroom sink. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, what type of nasty shit? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Twisms.